hey everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to explore the three most commonly used set implementations in java hash set linked hash set and tree set let's jump right in first let's understand the underlying data structures hash set is backed by a hash table it uses hash codes to store and retrieve elements which makes it very efficient for lookups and insertions linked hash set also uses a hash table under the hood but it adds a linked list on top of that to maintain the order in which elements were inserted. Tree set on the other hand is completely different. It's backed by a red black tree which is a type of self-balancing binary search tree. This is what enables it to store elements in a naturally sorted order. Now let's talk about how elements are ordered. Hash set does not maintain any order. When you add elements to a hash set, they might appear in any sequence when you iterate through them and the order can even change over time. Linked hash set, however, maintains the insertion order. This means when you loop through a linked hash set, the elements will appear in the same order you inserted them. Tree set maintains a sorted order. That means the elements are always arranged either in their natural order, like alphabetical or numerical, or in a custom order defined by a comparator. So if you want sorted data, tree set is the way to go. In terms of performance, hash set generally performs the best for basic operations like add, remove and search. This is because it relies on constant time hashing. Linked hash set is slightly slower than hash set. That's because in addition to storing data in a hash table, it also maintains a linked list to preserve insertion order. Tree set is the slowest of the three. That's due to the cost of maintaining a sorted tree structure. Insertions, deletions and lookups in a tree set take log and time since it uses a balanced tree internally, let's look at null handling. Hash set allows one null element. If you try to insert more than one null, it simply ignores the duplicates. Linked hash set also allows one null element, and since it maintains insertion order, that null will appear wherever you inserted it. Tree set, however, does not allow null at all. Trying to insert a null value into a tree set will throw a null pointer exception. That's because it relies on comparisons for ordering, and comparing null with other values isn't allowed in Java. Let's look at memory usage. Memory-wise, hash set uses the lowest memory. It stores only the hash table data. Linked hash set uses more memory than hash set because it stores both hash table entries and linked list pointers to keep track of insertion order. Tree set consumes even more memory than the other two. It needs to maintain a complex tree structure with references to parent, left and right nodes for balancing. So when memory is a concern and you don't need ordering, hash set is your lightest option. Let's see the iteration speed. Hash set offers fast iteration, but the order is unpredictable. It's efficient but not ordered. Linked hash set provides fast iteration with predictable order, which is the order of insertion. Tree set has slower iteration due to the extra effort of navigating a sorted tree structure, but the order of elements is always sorted, which may be worth the trade-off. When to use which? Use hash set when you just need to store unique elements and don't care about their order. It's great for lookups and offers the best performance. Use linked hash set when you need uniqueness and also want to preserve the order in which elements were added. This is useful for building menus, dropdowns, or audit logs where a sequence matters. Use tree set when you want the elements to be automatically sorted. This is ideal for features like leaderboard rankings, ordered reports, or autocomplete suggestions where sorted data is a requirement. So to summarize, hash set is all about speed and uniqueness. Linked hash set adds order to that speed. Tree set adds sorting at the cost of performance. Each one is powerful in the right context. If this helped you understand the difference, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments which Java collection comparison you would like me to explain next. 